My philosophy is to always be learning. Never think that you've arrived or you know everything there is to know about a certain topic, skill, or talent. As soon as you think you know it all, that's when the learning stops and your growth stops and you stop innovating yourself. And eventually you'll plateau and your skills won't be relevant anymore. So first off, I wanna go through just a little bit of theory so we have some background to the things that we're gonna be talking about and learning. Theory is always crucial if you want to be really good at a skill or talent and at the top of your game. And I know, I know theory can be boring and really hard to understand sometimes, but we're going to keep it simple and this is going to really help you in your color grading process. We won't be going too in depth into theory, but there's tons of resources online. So just search away and devour as much as you can if you really want to be an amazing color grader. But let's also remember that theory is just theory and without putting into practice, it's just head knowledge and it doesn't actually help you. So take these things and let's practice them, use them. It might be difficult at first, but once you start understanding what's going on, this theory will really help you in your process. So let's start with a definition of color grading. Color grading is the process of altering and enhancing the color of a motion picture video image, or still image, either electronically, photochemically, or digitally. But really, it's to set a mood or emotion and help guide the viewer's attention to better tell your story. It's helping to answer the question of what is this image trying to communicate? And I would actually divide color grading into two steps, color correcting and color grading. Color correcting is basically making sure the colors and exposure and contrast match from shot to shot. Making sure there's no weird white balance issues, the exposure is correct, and the colors look right. Color grading is setting the mood and overall look of the image. I like to think that color correcting is the technical side of things, whereas color grading is the creative side. Both are really important. And I would say that color correcting is a must. You should always be color correcting your films, whereas color grading, you don't necessarily have to do it. But for me, I like to make my films the best possible version that it can be. So I always color grade my films. It really helps them come alive and just add that extra bit of quality. I always wanna push the boundaries and make the best film that I can. 